there is no doubt dear brothers and sisters uh, by the way welcome back to my channel there is no doubt that end of time a lot of it will the events and the time of it itself even will revolve around one significant topic which is the Euphrates River, Furat River. Rasulullah so, he mentioned in Hadith, you should call Furat an kandin min dahab. It will reveal mountain of gold. A lot of people, a lot of ulama, they have come up with their own ideas, own explanation about the gold. Some people say it is oil companies from the West. Some others say it is actual gold. Some other people say, well, it's, it's coal. It's like a black gold. So there are like different interpretations. There are different explanations about this uh, gold that uh, the Yushikul Furat that the Furat river will give up What is very very important nevertheless Regardless of what you believe the way in you interpret even the hadith should be interpreted literally unless it is proven otherwise But even if you believe this, you know gold means something to you other than pure gold as the hadith indicates you still have to put uh, a lot of emphasis on the river itself you have to pin your hope in other words, if you want to really know about end of time and you want to see the Mahadi Dajjal, you can pin your hope on that river. Wallahi, uh, you should not do that. But I'm just saying, if you're too you know, excited, if you're too interested to see the Mahadi, then this river is going to give you a lot of indications as to when this Mahadi, the Dajjal and the Yisab Maryam, all of these end of time events will take place. But what we do is time to time in this channel is that actually we do a lot of the times is that we look back into the river from the news that we have now if you look back at me uh, look at look 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 at uh, look at the back of me you see this river this is for a river but you see this part of the river is completely dried i'll i'll play the video from a news that was reported recently so this news is something giving you a very good uh, you know a very current uh, situation of the river Let's take a look at the video and then we will make a few comments. But before I do that, I want you to lower your case, your sister, because there is going to be a news reporter. Obviously, she is not wearing hijab, so I want you to uh, be, uh, be aware of that. Uh, do not blame me if you happen to see her face. Global leaders have been making roadmaps for years, all to tackle climate change. Activists say that we're far away from meeting our climate targets. And now a prince has spoken up too. Britain's Prince William has taken a swipe at the billionaires, all those embroiled in a space tourism race. Prince William says the focus should be on saving Earth, not on space travel. Welcome to Beyond's Climate Tracker. I'm Priyanka Sharma. Let's get started now. Neighbors, Iraq and Syria have uh, By the way, before I play the rest of the video, I want to let you know, brothers and sisters, that this channel, uh, UN, W-I-O-N, is an Indian channel. They are very, very uh, right-wing channel they support a uh, hindu nationalist the uh, you know people in the indian politics who are against islam this channel is is for them if you are someone who have no idea about this channel i strongly recommend you not to you know if you if you listen to them that's fine but don't believe their stories just like that you have to verify their stories as the quran says fatabayano you know test their news test the information it is true or is it something false so i want to give you a heads up about this channel be careful okay so let's take a listen what she has to say about the euphrates river battling conflict and now they have a new issue climate change record low rainfall has resulted in a drought the Euphrates River, which provides water to both the nations, has been drying up. Harvest has been hit. Food security is now under threat. And both Iraq and Syria are now staring at one more humanitarian crisis. Okay, one thing very, very important for you and for all of us to understand is that this river, the drying up of the river, is not just the fact that it, it dried up and nobody really cared. If the river dried up, it would affect agriculture. Okay, it will affect people how much food they can afford. People will go in a starvation if there is no food, in other words. And this drying up of this river will be so damaging for people living in that area. And even you know, at the end of, uh, end of time, it will affect people in that area and also affect globally. Okay, this will be a global phenomenon. Now, one thing that I also want you to understand about the Euphrates River, this river is not mentioned in the Bible. For the Christian and the Jew, the Yahud, this river does not carry any significance. Okay, it doesn't mean anything. But for the Muslims, this river is very, very important. I mean, when I, you know, when I was thinking about it, 
I was like, subhanAllah, I mean, it's a good thing that the Christian and the Jew, they don't have any significance about this river in their books. Why? Because if there was mentioning of this river in their book, they would go there and the situation would get even worse. Imagine yourself, because now we know they are in Israel. Why? Because Israel is mentioned in the book. And look at the trouble. Look at the problem that we have because of that. Imagine if the Bible you know, the, the Old Testament and the New Testament would have mentioned about Euphrates River, they would also go to Syria and Iraq and be having in a permanent base and kick everybody out, you know, just like they did in Palestine. So uh, it's a good thing uh, that it did not happen. So if you are someone who doesn't know this, you need to know that this river, Euphrates River, or the Furat River, has no significance in the books uh, of the Yahudi and the Nasara. Let's take a listen. Let's focus on Syria now, which once produced enough wheat to feed its entire population, but now the country has been hit by a historic drought. Crop failures are mounting. The situation is so bad that wheat farmers are mulling to leave the profession altogether. Our next report tells you more. Abdel Suleiman lost his farm to a wildfire last year. This year, drought led to low harvest. Now Suleiman, a wheat farmer, has okay. resorted to selling his wife's jewelry. May Allah feed them. He lives in Syria's Hasake province, also known as the country's bread basket. There's no other option left. He has to make ends meet. With very less rainfall, the situation is likely to worsen. Look at this. Last year, the field I planted was burned to the ground. This year, there was a drought. I lost two seasons, so I planted cumin as well, and it didn't work either because of the lack of rain. Irrigation Look. is also not an option in the region. Look. It's expensive. Then there's lack of water. You know, again, as I said in the beginning, if you have no water, if you have no rain, and the, rain, and the, the river is drying up, it will affect everything. Your livelihood, it is going to be an existential threat for the people living in that region. And including that would also include the entire country, Syria and Iraq. Wallahi, this is something we need to make dua for the brothers and sisters so that they can survive. Because this river is tied to end of time. Okay, simple as that. This is not a river that is standing alone and has nothing to do uh, with the prophecy, with the fitna that we are going through right now. It has a lot to do with the fitna we are going through right now. We need to make dua for the brothers and sisters so that they, they can survive. And we make dua that inshallah Allah will not make it go completely dried because it will, wallahi, create more problem for the brothers and sisters. They will have no food. The Euphrates River, which flows through the region, has sunk to a historic low. Subhanallah. Locals are even Look. mulling, moving elsewhere. Look. They say that with very little harvest, there's no food and money. This will affect the average citizen, the government, everyone. What will people eat? They have no resources. It will be very difficult if wheat is not planted. People will leave. I tell you, if it does not rain this year, drought will hit and people will leave. No one will be able to grow wheat. Wheat production has been declining ever since the war erupted in Syria in 2011. And wallahi, dear brothers and sisters, just uh, think about it, how... I mean, I mean, how this can be related, okay, how this can all be related. If you take a look at the food supply in the Western world, you will see there is a shortage. In the city that I live in, Canada, Toronto, we have food price going up. Uh, the city that I lived before, the one I moved from, they also have the same, same problem. Food pricing is going up not only in Canada, but also in the States and many other places, many other countries. And if you think about the uh, Euphrates River, People are, you know, struggling with the same thing, which is food supply. And why? Because there is a drought. There is no rain. The the river is not getting any rain. So if you like to connect all of it and you say, brother, does Euphrates River drought has to do something with U.S. and Canada? I would say maybe because, you know, the fitan, you will, you will feel it. The fitan will be the, you know, the test, the tribul tri tribulation will be felt um, all across the world. Uh, it is, is it connected? Maybe we people don't see it, but as believers, maybe we can come up and say that yes, uh, this is a prophecy, end of time prophecy, that the fit and the test, well, the tribulations will be such that everybody will feel it. Uh, is it coming from Euphrates River drying up? 
Allah alam, but there is a good possibility. I want, I would like to link that. Wallahi, I would like to link that. That because of Euphrates River is not getting rain, food price is going up everywhere. I can link that. But again, this is something Allah alam, but we can always make it more, a little bit more, you know, interesting, inshallah. But climate change has escalated the crisis. Look. Earlier, Syria produced enough wheat to feed its entire population. Now, it's mostly dependent on imports. The 2021 season was it's, it's, it's getting worse and worse. Um, mountain of gold. What do you think when people will have no food? The moment they see the amount of gold, they are going to go and get it. Wallahi. And this is what the prophecy said. Do not go. Do not go and take anything from it. Even though you go through hard time, even though you are struggling, but when you are being presented with this temptation, do not fall for it. This is the prophecy. Uh, thank you guys, uh, brothers and sisters, for tuning in. If you like this video, share this video. Like, hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel, inshallah. And I'll see you soon again. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.